around the world have been paying tribute to the actor Sir John Hurt, who's died at the age of 77. He'd been suffering from pancreatic cancer. The Hollywood actor and director Mel Brooks said he was a truly magnificent talent, and the author, J.K. Rowling, called him immensely talented and deeply beloved. His career spanned over six decades with more than 120 films, including The Elephant Man, Alien and Harry Potter. Nick Hyam looks back on his life. The sin is hand! John Hurt as the deranged Roman Emperor Caligula in the BBC's I, Claudius. You ordered no triumphs. Well, of course I ordered no triumphs. Do you think I'd order triumphs for myself? But you ordered us not to order any. Yes, and you took me at my word, didn't you? Look at me. And in The Naked Civil Servant. I wear rouge, I wear mascara on my eyelashes, I dye my hair, I wear flamboyant clothes, far more outré than those I'm wearing now. He was an unusual actor, instantly recognisable, yet never typecast. Here he played the notorious and flamboyant Quentin Crisp. People said it was a brave part to take on. Many people said, don't do that, you'll never work again. And so on. And I said, but it's not about homosexuality, actually. It's about, it's about the tenderness of the individual as opposed to the cruelty of the crowd, really. Take it. His breakthrough had come in A Man for All Thank Seasons you. in 1966, a small part in an Oscar-winning film. What would you do with it? Sell it. And buy what? A decent gown. <laughs> 200 kilos. He earned an Oscar nomination himself for Midnight Express, in which he played a heroin addict in a Turkish prison. I'm very pleased to meet you, Mr. Merrick. And another for his performance as the hideously disfigured John Merrick in The Elephant Man. Like Quentin Crisp, Merrick was an outsider, ostracised by society. Perhaps... this. Late in his career, he reached new audiences in Harry Potter. You're my future selves. Yes! And in a guest appearance in Doctor Who. Why are you pointing at screwdrivers like that? In one of his last performances, he played a dying screenwriter, quoting lines from a famous Dylan Thomas poem. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Today, his widow Anwin called him the most sublime of actors and the most gentlemanly of gentlemen who touched all our lives with joy and magic. That's Sir John Hurt, who's died at the age of 77.